On startup, the vapor control valve closes source vapors and opens to dilution air. Once the VCV is closed, the extraction blower starts on dilution air only. Once the blower is running, a pressure switch enables the heaters. The heaters are controlled by the T1 controller. The catalyst warms up on dilution air. A heat exchanger recovers discharge heat and preheats the incoming flow. The VCV controls both source vapors and dilution air. When the catalyst entrance temperature reaches 241 degrees centigrade, the VCV begins to open. As the VCV opens, dilution air is reduced and vapor concentrations increase. As concentrations rise, the catalyst interior and discharge temperatures increase. The VCV controls this rate of temperature rise. If concentrations are high, sufficient heat is recovered through the heat exchanger to preheat the inlet flow without adding supplemental electric heat. The process becomes self-sustaining. Inlet concentrations are maximized by opening the heat exchanger bypass valve, which reduces heat recovery. As heat recovery is reduced, the T1 entrance temperature begins to decline. Catalyst interior, T3, and catalyst exit, T2, begin to decline. When catalyst entrance, T1, drops below set point, the heaters come back on and the VCV continues to open, increasing vapor concentrations. As concentrations rise, temperatures increase until maximum input loading is achieved. The oxidizer establishes equilibrium at high input concentrations. The process is again self-sustaining.